So for number 51, uh, we want to see if the sequence over here converges. And sequence an converges if an tends to um, a defined limit as n approaches infinity. So what we're going to do here is we're going to take the limit, so the limit as n approaches infinity of um, arc tan of ln of n. Okay. Um, and so what we're going to do here is let's let's break this down into parts. Uh, first, we're going to take the limit of the inside ln of n. So the limit as n approaches infinity of ln of n, this is um, ln, it's going to be ln of infinity, which is infinity, right? ln of infinity just grows without bounds. So this is going to be um, arc tan of infinity. And let's, let's think about what arc tan of infinity means. Um, so basically arc tan, arc tan, asks, arc tan of x asks, um, which, which angle gives me, gives me a tangent of x, right? So basically arc tan of infinity, it's asking, hey, which angle gives me a tangent of infinity? And so what we're going to do here um, is we're going to think of the graph of tangent, right? Uh, so this is going to be tangent, uh, tangent theta and tangent here, we're going to have, uh, we're going to call this pi over two, um, pi three pi over two, uh, that is going to be negative pi over two and so on. And so we're going to have a vertical asymptote here and this graph is going to go it's going to go like this. So it goes like so, and it goes like so. And so it's saying, hey, which angle is going to give me a tangent of infinity, right? And we can see that the limit here, um, the limit as we approach pi over 2, the graph of tangent, it grows without bounds. So we can see that as we get closer to pi over 2, the tangent is infinite. So since the arctan undoes this, it is going to spit out pi over 2, right? It tells us, hey, if you take the tangent, the tangent of pi over 2, um, that is going to grow without bounds. That's going to be infinite. Um, and the reason that it's, it's infinite is because uh, tangent is, tan is sine over cosine, right? And so um, at pi over 2, we're going to have sine of of pi over two is one, and cosine of pi over two zero, and so that tends to that tends to infinity. So basically, all we did here was we um, we the argument we saw the ln of infinity goes to infinity, and then this evaluates arctan of infinity, which is uh, pi over two.